Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing how to get the net electric charge, electric force using Coulomb's law. So let us identify what is net electric charge. So net charge is the total charge found in an electromagnetic system. And also, it is the charge that there is more of in an object. So ibig sabihin nun, um, parang kung paano sila nagbabalance yung dalawang, um, I mean yung proton at saka yung electron. Okay? Baguhin ko lang to. Okay, so let us have um, for example, this one. So, ito yung positively charged, yung tawag natin siyang protons. And then, yung negatively charged, we call it electrons. So, para mas matandaan nyo, yung proton from the um, letter P, proton, positive. And then, syempre, yung isa, electron. So, siya na yung negative. Okay? So, kapag ka same sila ng number, ibig sabihin, um, we have three protons. For example, in this case, three protons. And then, we have three electrons as well. Kunyari. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang net charge nito ay 0. Okay? Kasi 3 protons, okay, minus 3 electrons, that would be 0. So, kapag ka 0 ang charge ng isang atom, ang tawag dun, guys, ay neutral. So, ang tawag dun sa atom na yun is a neutral atom. Okay? So, let us have these examples. Ayan. So, dito muna tayo sa number 1. Lagyan ko ng number 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, dun muna tayo sa number 1. So, we have 5 protons, 5 electrons. So, pagka ginawa natin negative yung electrons, so magiging 5, ito yung protons na 5 na positive. Positive 5 minus yung negative na ano, I mean, plus negative electrons. So, the answer would be 0. So, kapag ka 0 charge, again, ang tawag sa kanya is neutral. Okay, so ang tinatawag dito guys is neutral. Okay, let's have the second example. So, we have 2 electrons and 8 protons. So, positive 8 plus negative 2 electrons. The answer would be 6 protons. Okay, ibig sabihin nun guys, merong mas lamang na 6 protons dito sa system na to. Ngayon, kapag ka inas kayo or ni-require kayo na baguhin yung um, unit niya into columns, okay, ang gagawin nyo is multiply nyo lang siya by 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19. Kaya itong 6 protons na to, pag ito siya guys, ito. Ayan. So, pag minultiply nyo siya sa 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19, ayan, kuha na lang tayo ng calcu. So, 6 times, okay, 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19. So, the answer would be 9.6 times 10 raised to negative 19. So, the final answer is 9.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 column. Ayan. Ayan, naglag siya. Okay, so the answer is this one. Naglag yung calcu. Okay? So, yan yung charge nitong system na to, net charge. Okay, let's have this number 3. So, 7 electrons and then 4 times 10 raised to negative 8 protons. So, ang gagawin nyo guys, gawin nyo lang negative yung electrons. So, ang kakalabasan yan ganito. 4 times 10 raised to negative 8 minus 7. Okay? So, gamit kayo ng calcu para mas madali. Ayan. So, 4. Okay? Yung protons natin is 4 times 10 raised to negative 8. Okay? And then, minus 7 kasi siya yung electrons. So, siya yung negative. So, the answer would be this. Ngayon, kapag ka kinonvert nyo siya into columns, you will multiply this by 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19. So, the answer would be negative 1.12. So, negative 1.12, okay, times 10 raised to negative 18, okay, column. Ang ibig sabihin nito, guys, kaya negative siya, ibig sabihin mas maraming electron dito sa atom na to, okay? So, kung ang tawag, kapag ka zero ang charge, is neutral, okay, paano naman if the atom has any charge? Ibig sabihin kahit positive pa yan, kahit negative pa yan, basta may charge, Ang tawag sa atom na yun, guys, is ion. Okay? So, ito, ion to kasi may charge siya. Ito rin, ion. Basta may charge, ang tawag do sa atom na yun is ion. Kapag ka walang charge or zero yung charge, ang tawag do sa atom na yun is neutral. Okay? Let's have the last example ng pagkuha ng net charge and converting it to coulombs. So, let's have... So, ang negative dito would be this one, yung electron. So, yung negative 5.7 times 10 raised to negative 8. So, pag kinumpute natin yan... So, 2.5 
Pwedeng dire-diretso to guys, kasi ipipemdas naman yan ng inyong calculator. Ibig sabihin, uunahin niya yung i-multiply, bago niya i-subtract. Okay, so minus itong electrons na 5.7 times 10 raised to 8. Okay, so the answer is 57, blah, 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 maraming zero. Okay, so ta times pa natin to dito sa 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19. Okay, so the answer would be negative 9.12 times 10 raised to 11. Negative 11. Tama ba? Okay. Columns. Okay? So that this one is your final answer. Ngayon, ayon din to guys. Kasi meron siyang charge. Pagka naging negative ang final answer ninyo, ibig sabihin, there are more prot electrons than protons. Kasi siya yung negative. Pero dito sa number 1, eh, sa number 2, since positive yung sagot natin, ibig sabihin, mas maraming proton kesa sa electrons. Okay? Now, let us proceed in getting the electric force using the Coulomb's law. So, ito yung example natin. Find the magnitude of the electric force between two-point charges. So, we have here two-point charges. We have two Coulomb at saka 4.5 Coulomb. Okay? So, gagamitin natin dyan itong formula ng Coulomb's law, which is electric force or F sub E is equal to K constant or Coulomb's constant multiplied by Q sub 1, Q sub 2 all over R squared. Okay, this can be written as Q, K, Q sub 1, Q sub 2 all over R squared. Same lang yan guys. Okay, so yung K dyan, ang ibig sabihin yan is the Coulomb's constant which is 8.988 times 10 raised to 9 Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. Okay, and then ito namang letter Q dyan. Okay, so, yung Q sub 1 at saka Q sub 2, ibig sabihin lang yan dyan, dyan guys, yung dalawang charges. So, pwedeng iset nyo to as Q sub 1, ito si Q sub 2. Okay, pwede yan. Or pwedeng baliktad. Okay, so, yan yung um, electric charge measured in Coulomb. So, kailangan naka-Coulomb siya. Okay, and then yung R dyan would be the distance, which is uh, measured in meters. Okay, so, ito yung distance. Kumbaga, gaano sila kayayo sa isa't isa. Okay, so, kukunin natin ang um, electric force between these two charges. So, let us have electric force is equal to, so yung K natin guys, papalitan nyo na siya ng 8.988 times 10 raised to 9. Okay? So, tas ang unit niya, okay, samahan ko muna ng unit. Mamaya tuturo ko sa inyo paano mapapadali ito. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin over column squared, so pwede ko tong ilagay sa baba lahat. Over column squared. Ayan, kinopya ko lang to guys. Ayan. Yan. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin niyan, over column squared. Okay? Yan yung K. Pinalitan ko tong K na to. Okay? Palitan naman natin yung Q sub 1. So, sabihin na natin na ito ating Q sub 1. Ito ang Q sub 2. Okay? So, ang Q sub 1 natin is 2 column. So, times 2 column. And then, ang Q sub 2 is 4.5 column. Okay? All over, ayan, ito, all over R squared. So, ang R natin dito ay ito. Okay? So, that is 0 0.5 meter quantity squared. Okay? So, pagka tignan nyo muna yung mga um, units, cancel muna natin yung mga units na pwedeng i-cancel. So, as you can see here, pwede ko tong i-over lahat sa column squared kasi multiply yung ibabaw. So, eto guys, so dalawang column, ibig sabihin yan C times C. So, C times C is C squared. Tama? So, pag minultiply ko yan, magiging C squared. Eh, may C squared sa denominator because of the column constant, yung unit niya. So, maka-cancel to. Ito, tsaka ito. Okay? Ito namang meter squared. Ayan. Ito, meter squared. Pag dinistribute natin yung squared dito sa may R, R squared, so, didistribute na 0.5 at tsaka sa meter, magiging 0.5 squared meter squared. So, magiging meter squared na rin siya. Therefore, maka-cancel na rin tong meter squared na to at tsaka tong meter na to. Okay? So, ang matitirang unit ay newton. Kasi guys, ang kinukuha natin na force. And we all know that the unit for force is newton. Okay? So, yun ang ibig sabihin nung, uh, I mean yun yung purpose ng pag-cancel ng mga um, units. Pero ang gawin nyo na lang, pagka nagko-compute kayo, tanggalin nyo na yung mga units and then sa dulo nyo na lang lagyan ng unit which is newton kapag ka-electric force. Okay? So, compute lang natin yan. Punta kayo sa calq, scientific calculator. Dire-diretso lang yan, guys. So, 8 point... Wait lang, rewrite natin. So, magiging 8.988 times 10 raised to 9. So, newton na lang, okay? Times 2. 
times 4.5. Wala na yung mga ano nila. All over. So, ito, 0.5 squared na lang. Okay? Kasi wala na yung meter squared. Na-cancel na siya. So, ang electric force natin would be, yan, so, 8 point, dere-derecho sa calculus, guys, 8.988, okay, times 10, raised to 9, okay, and then baba nyo lang yung cursor, times 2, okay, times 4.5, and then, yung fraction dyan, division, so all over or divided by 0 0.5 squared. Ayan. So, the answer is 3.24. So, 3.24, and then my scientific notation doon, times 10 raised to 11. Times 10 raised to 11. Newton. Okay? So, this is the electric, uh, electric force between these two point charges. Ngayon, para nyo malalaman kung attractive siya or repulsive. Ibig sabihin kung mag attract sila to each other itong dalawang charges na to or magre-repel sila. Ibig sabihin, magaganyan ba sila? Lalayo ba sila sa isa't isa? Or mag attract silang paganyan. Okay? So, may dalawang paraan para malaman nyo kung anong direction niya. Okay? Pwede kayong tumingin dun sa charges. So, pagka opposite, alam naman natin yun na opposite attracts. Okay? And then, um like signs or like repels. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung two charges natin, parehas na positive. Ayan, yung two column at saka 4.5 column. So, dyan pa lang, malalaman nyo na repulsive sila. Ibig sabihin, yung dalawang charges na yan ay repulsive. Or pwede kayong tumingin dito sa sagot nyo sa electric force. Pag ang sagot nyo sa electric force ay positive, ibig sabihin, ang nakuha nyong electric force ay positive, repulsive yun. Okay? Pagka ang nakuha nyo electric force ay negative, that is attractive. Yun. Pwede nyo gamitin yung dalawa. Pero dito na lang kayo tumingin guys, mas madali dun sa charges. Kasi mas madaling tandaan yung opposite attracts. Ibig sabihin kung may isang positive at isang yung negative, therefore attractive yun. Okay? Sige, let's have the last two examples. Ayan, meron na lang dalawang example. So, ito ang number two natin. Ay, sorry. Ito, number 3. Ayan. So, yung number 2, ito yung um, Q sub 1 natin. Ito yung Q sub 2. Okay? So, kunin natin yung electric force. Pagka nakakita kayo ng ganito na prefix, bago mag um, unit na column, ibig sabihin yan guys, co-convert nyo lang siya. Kapag ka nano, ito, nano to. Okay? Pag micro, may, ito yung mga common. Pag micro, katulad nito, ayan, micro yan. Okay, pagka micro, ibig sabihin yan guys, time, ang prefix yan is times 10 raised to negative 6. Okay, pagka nano, ito yung nano, letter N, okay, times 10 raised to negative 9. From the root word um, 9, nano, okay, re, negative 9 yun. Okay, ito, yung P na to, yung, ang basa naman dyan guys, ay pico, so ang prefix naman yan ay times 10 raised to negative 12. Okay, so pag nakakita kayo ng ganyan, dadagdagan nyo lang siya. Ibig sabihin, okay, itong first, itong second example natin, itong Q sub 1 natin, hindi lang yan basta 12.5. So, pag binasa nyo yan, 12.5 nano coulomb. So, kailangan coulomb lang. Okay? So, paano tanggalin tong nano na to? Gaganitohin nyo siya. So, 12.5, yung nano na yan, i-convert ko yan sa times 10 raised to negative 9 since nano siya. Coulomb. Ayan. Pag nakakulumb na lang, pwede nyo na siyang isalpak doon sa formula. Kailangan kulumb lang. Okay? So, salpak na natin to sa formula. So, ang formula ay K, Q sub 1, Q sub 2, all over R squared. So, this one would be 8.988, yung ating columns constant, times 10, raised to 9. Okay? Ayan yung K. Okay? Tapos, times, itong Q sub 1, ito na. Yung may nano na. Okay? So, 12.5 times 10 raised to negative 9. And then, dito guys, wala namang problema. Yung Q sub 2, kulumb lang siya. So, wala siyang nano, wala siyang pico, wala siyang mili, wala siyang micro. So, yan na yun. So, 7 times 10, okay, raised to negative 19. Okay, all over R squared. So, ang R natin dito is 0 0.48 squared. Hindi ko na nilagyan ng unit. Sa dulo nyo na lang lagyan ng unit. Okay, so, dire-diretso yan sa calcu. 8.988 times 10 raised to 9 and then times okay, 12.5 times 10 raised to negative 9 okay, times 
7 times 10 raised to negative 19. And then the last one would be divided by 0 0.48 squared. Ayan. So the answer is 3.41. So 3.41 times 10 raised to negative 16. Tama ba? Okay. Newton. Okay. So the electrical force or electric force between these two charges okay, is 3.41 times 10 raised to negative 16 newton. Okay? So, attractive ba to or repulsive? They have the same sign. Pareha silang positive. So, therefore, um, repulsive sila. Okay? So, parang yung um, first example natin. Repulsive din. Parehas negative. I mean, parehas positive. So, like signs, um, repulsive. Okay? Opposite attracts. Or pwede yung tignan ito. So, since ang sagot natin dito ay positive, sorry, repulsive siya. Okay? Let's have the last example. So, ito yung dalawang point charges. So, we have negative 7.8 picocoulomb and then 5.3 microcoulomb. And then, ang distance or yung letter R natin is 0 0.35 meters. So, gawin ko muna to, Tatanggalin ko tong pico na to. So, this one would be negative 7.8. So, yung pico na yan times 10 raised to negative 12. Yan. And then, coulomb. So, ito na yung q sub 1 ko. Okay? And then, ito, tanggalin ko naman yung micro. So, 5.3 so, ang micro na yan is, ang ibig sabihin, times 10 raised to negative 6 column. Ayan, copy lang to. So, ibig sabihin yan yung ating Q sub 2. Okay? So, formula na tayo ng Coulomb's law. So, yung K constant is, or Coulomb's constant is 8.988 times 10 raised to 9. Okay? Times, eto na, negative 7.8 times 10 raised to negative 12. Times, 5.3 times 10 raised to negative 6 all over yung R natin is 0 0.35 and then R squared kasi yung formula R squared, so squared. Okay, and then you get your calculator, dire-diretso lang, 8.988 times 10 raised to 9, okay, times negative, so you put negative 7.8 times 10 raised to negative 12. Okay, and then times 5.3 times 10 raised to negative 6. And then, baba yung cursor, divided by 0 0.35 squared. Ayan. So, the answer is negative 3.03. So, ang electric force, negative 3.03. Okay, times 10 raised to negative 6. Times 10 raised to negative 6. Do not forget to put the Newton unit. Okay? So, since negative ang sagot, attractive to guys. Ibig sabihin, itong dalawang to ay pa ganito. mag attract sila. Ito, repulsive. So, pa palayo sila sa isa't isa. Okay? As you can see naman, yung charges natin, dito pa lang malalaman nyo na na attractive sila. Kasi isang negatively charged, isang positively charged na um, atom or object, so, ibig sabihin yan guys, mag attract sila. Okay? Tapos, pwede rin kayo tumingin dito sa final answer. So, sinabi ko na, pag positive, repulsive, Okay? Kapag ka, ito yung titignan, okay? Yung FE or yung electric force. Pag negative, attractive. Okay? So, that, that is it for the Coulomb's Law and then the um, net charge.